Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's unbelievable that these things are truly sincerely happening. A dual house of assembly, Titans, okay, knows on Philip Shwaibo. Philip Shwaibo seemed to be like in a hot spot, burning seriously, and he cannot even find a way to get himself out of the current situation. Probably is realizing that fighting with his boss may not have been the best of, uh, you know, position he should have taken. Yes, so this is coming on the heels that, you know, uh, Obaseki is not really supporting his ambition to become the governor of the state to succeed him. Obaseki wants to go that low. And Philip Shaibu may have done some things that have set off Obaseki, for instance, you know, uh, going to see Oshomole when Oshomole won the uh, uh, senatorial position. And Philip Shaibu said the problem, according to him, with Obaseki is that Obaseki enemy has to be your enemy. Okay, if you want to become friends with people that is his enemy, then there, are, there is problem. So this is exactly what is going on now and everybody can see what is happening. Well, it is important that we begin to rise to the occasion, understand what is really going on in Edo State so that things can work decently and in order. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Edo State House of Assembly has passed a resolution directing the state chief judge, Justice Daniel, to set up a seven-man committee to investigate allegations of gross misconduct levied against the deputy governor of the state, Philip Shaibo. The House passed the resolution at the preliminary yesterday. At the preliminary, 19 out of 24 lawmakers voted in the favor of the resolution. Earlier, the Speaker, Honorable Blessing, has notified the lawmakers that a seven days automaton granted the Deputy Governor to respond to the impeachment notice served on him has expired. Blessing said impeachment notice was earlier served on the Deputy Governor on March the 6th, 2024, but due to alleged variance of service, the Deputy Governor claimed not to have received it. We had to go through the public sector to put it on, on newspaper observers, Vanguard newspaper on March the 12th. And that's March the 19th, 20, 2024, made it the seventh day. The deputy governor cannot say he has not seen it. In his mission, the majority leader charity and seconded by Nicholas, representing a Okada constituency, moved that the chief judge be directed to set up the seven-man committee to investigate Philip Shaibu gross misconduct thoroughly and ensure that he's, he's removed completely and totally and getting the state to be free from everyone or anyone who will not do things in order and in line to move the state forward. Philip Shaibu has been has been accused of gross misconduct, of moving the stuff, doing things that are against the state. And everyone is watching and we want to see how things will possibly play out. And this is causing a real, you know, a real concern as everybody's watching to know what the next line of action will be. Nigerians, if there is any time for us to focus and ensure that the right things are done, it is now more than ever before. Every single person is watching and we want to know, you know, what the day, the daylight, you know, lies ahead. So this is part of what is happening. This is part of what is going on. And we all can see that, you know, if, if we really want to, um, you know, get out of the current charade of lies being provided, pro propounded, you know, by some individual. Whatever Philip Shaibu has done, we know that there are personal differences and grief going on. But whatever he has done, I think it should be made known to all so that at the end of the day, the truth can really sincerely truly be revealed so that Nigerians can enjoy the benefits of what is on ground. Currently, everybody wants to know the real deal going on between Obaseki and Felix Shaibo. These are part of the, you know, uh, these are part of the issues going on. You know, that part of the issues going on. Well, my people, it is it is very, very glary. It is very clear that we all should watch carefully and understand some of these things. Okay? Uh, you know, uh, and understand some of these things. 
it is what it is okay it is what it is it, it is time for us to it is time for us to arise it is time for us to put the right things in position okay it is time for us to put the right things in position and begin to you know and begin to ensure that nigerian gravitate correctly okay and ensure that nigeria gravitates correctly in the right direction well my lovely people what's going on what's happening between obaseki and Felix Shaibo. And why is it that in Nigerian politics, okay, um, they may not tell us the truth, but they assume that we should just follow through with what is going on. So this is part of it. This is part of why we all must arise and ensure that, you know, we begin to take things very seriously. Well, my people, how can we truly, you know, uh, solve the situation? How can we, how can we, how can we change it? Felix Shaibu currently should, you know, if he had offended Obaseki, it's not just the show of what is going on, okay? It's not what the show of what's going on, but he should sincerely apologize. But I believe that ship has sailed. PDP had had their, their primaries. Igo Dalu is the candidate representing the party. You know, Igo Dalu is the, is the candidate representing the party. You know, and uh, currently everybody can see, everybody can see that it is, it is, it is what it is, it is what it is, and um, we we almost begin to, you know, we all, we almost begin to arise, you know, we almost begin to arise, and ensure that you know we do everything you know possibly currently to bring us into the current situation of you know of truth. But it does. You've got a lineup of people. Look very well. Don't just pick anybody out of emotion or because they gave you something. Pick because such mm -hmm. an individual, such a person, is honest, is sincere, and is ready to, you know, to, to help the states become better. We must look upon all these things very carefully. We must not just speak, you know, and allow them to bribe us. We must speak with all forms of diligence and ensure that you know, uh, we do things properly, okay? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Every one of us must do what is right, what is needed in order to get the nation back right on track. Don't forget you are important. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.